proposition to state his case. Thank you. Members of the House and Madam Speaker, today I come to you with a question, why don't women vote? It is not because their husband tells them not to vote. We are not in an era where I can just go out, hit a woman over the head, and then tell her she's my wife when she wakes up. Oh, this, is not how, this is how it works. Women have their own choices. They decide whether to vote or not. Now, I literally have only one point of independent rebuttal. So the rest of it is in my argument. Now, they spoke about equality. They care so much for equality that the women should be just as much as the men. What they are now promoting is that women be better than men. Oh, so that sure. only their vote should count. Because now, what they are saying is that if your woman does not vote, your vote does not count either. That is now saying that if, you, if only the man votes for his household, then it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't care. They only care about the women. Which, why not just let men not vote and just let women vote? Why not create new... Hold that point, sir. No, thank you. Again, I'm going on to my arguments. Now, the first one is the family vote. Some people do not have the time for everyone in their family to go and vote. It is, in some cases, it is a very long and painstaking process. Might be here that it's quick and efficient because there's so few people who actually go and vote. But in some places, it is overthrown with people voting. And it is, it is a time-consuming um, process. So everybody doesn't have the same time to, to put into that vote. So now what they do is they come together as a family, they decide which party supports their cause the best. And now the man then goes and votes. Now, I know um, open, closing, or well, what government said was, why don't you take your wife with you? Who's going to go after the kids? Who's going to do what needs to be done in the house? We're on that vacation day when time can be spent on keeping the house how it should be kept. Now, um, blah, blah, blah. But they also said that everybody should have their own vote. So then, why not let the man have his own vote? Why not let the woman have her own vote? And democracy also states, as my second point says, democracy, my choice. I can decide who to vote for and whether I want to vote or not. It is my choice. This is democracy. I get a choice in what happens. And now, if the woman doesn't want to vote, or she doesn't care that much, why force her to go and vote? You're destroying democracy with what you're proposing, trying to create equality. On that point. No, thank you. Now, people are then forced to vote. So now, the husband would say, wife, let's just go and vote. And she would say, I don't really care, so I'm just going to vote for whoever you vote for. So what is, what, is the, what is the point there? You're just creating more uneducated choices, more unintellect, intellectual decisions that happen in South Africa. So what might happen is that the man thinks he knows what's good for the family. And then the woman just says, okay, fine, I'll vote for you. Now there's two votes for that um, party that doesn't even have that good uh, policies. So in retrospect, you're seeing a lower grade of voting choices, the lower grade of thought put into a, uh, into a vote. Um, now I'm also going on to the government control over what government has brought us. Now, what we see at this point is, and also government said that there's no pressure, or there's fewer pressure. No, thank you. There's fewer pressure now that if the woman goes and votes, because it's private. So what's so private about it if you walk into a store and your vote's already ticked A and C? That's, that is pressure, that is intimidation. Also, another problem with intimidation is the ANC passing out t-shirts at the polls, literally the same day. This is intimidation happening. And these women are li that little bit more intimidated by a couple of men. Oh, that's not that's on her own. Oh, please just address the fact that, no, I want to ask you one question. Do you think that women are suppressed by men when it comes to their households and voting? No, I do not, because women shame. have their own jobs. They do, not, they do not conform to what has happened before. They have their own choices. They can decide whether they want to be a stay-at-home mom, or they want to go and vote, or who they want to go and vote for, because it's a private process. So if she doesn't go, if she goes and votes, if she makes that, process, that thing, then she, it, she did it out of her own. She made that own choice. It was not forced upon her. It was not um, someone telling her to go and vote. You have to go and vote. It was not. It was a free choice, which is democracy in itself. Free choice, not forced. And no one taking your vote away as well. That is democracy. Now, I'm going on to the government's control. Now, 
ANC now is the government, and they are pushing that little bit of control over the people at this moment because they see that they have, they have lost votes over the last couple of years. Now, if this policy is instated, or instated, what, how could the ANC then use this, or how could the government then use this? They can then just say that, throw away the women's vote, and then no one in the house, like let's say there's two sons that are voted, and the father, there's three votes. Now, they just throw away one way, so they just throw one, ah, they just throw away one vote, the three, other three don't count. Now this then just creates an a government controlled election, which makes it easier to be controlled. And now I'm just going on to my last little point. I'm asking you very, very, very nicely. How could they throw away one vote? Why is one vote more important than another? Is that is not democracy. That is not democracy. And this is what we've fought for so long. That each person's vote should be counted equally. And if one vote does not, if one vote doesn't even happen, why should the person that actually went out did that effort and actually made that choice and actually found out some information about the person that he's voting for. All of that time and effort put into a vote, well, why sucks. should it be thrown away? By someone doing nothing. No, thank you. It's by someone doing nothing, absolutely nothing. And I feel that for all of these reasons, it is so, so important that everybody should be feel, should feel the freedom of choice when they go and do, the, do an election. So that it is not forced upon them in any way whatsoever. Because being forced just leads to a dictatorship. I think. And